Well, you guys got another video here for you. In this one, we're going to be looking at how we can download and install remote server administrative tools for Windows 10. Now, this is going to give you all the remote MMC tools that you require to manage your Windows servers remotely. So you need to download this from uh, Microsoft's website here. And this is the actual download here, remote server administrative tools for Windows 10 and you can download that here. It's got the instructions here, but I'll show you how to install that and get it up and running. Now, if you do want to download the administrative templates as well for your group policy uh, management system, you can also download that here, and I will put the link in the description also, and this will be able to install that there as well. So what I'm gonna do is quickly show you how to install. This is pretty straightforward. As you can see, I'm just gonna quickly uh, install this now. I've got the download already uh, on my system here. I'm going to say yes to this and let this download and install. It's going to take a bit of time so just give it a bit of time to install. Just accept the uh, agreement here. So just be patient here. This can take up to 10 minutes to install so just let it do its thing okay and then once it's uh, installed I'll come back. Okay so that's now uh, installed and we need to restart the computer so I'm just going to quickly restart so just give this time to prepare and configure windows so that's that now configured and we just get to the desktop now once we're back at our desktop what we want to do here is we want to come down to the start button here and we're just going to type in here and install just like that and then we want to click on change or remove a program and you can get that by going to the control panel as well if you wish um, but once we get here we want to go to where it says uh, turn windows features on or off just going to click on this we'll let the little box populate here it might take a bit of time uh, there we are we just got this box open now so what we want to look for here is uh, a couple of areas what we want to enable and um, we want to do active directory lightweight directory uh, services you can uh, enable that if you wish and also we're going to come down and we want to also select uh, RAS connection manager just make sure that you've got all these features uh, ticked and everything's okay here okay otherwise you will have trouble make sure all this stuff is um, ticked otherwise you will have trouble opening this uh, program up okay so once you've got all that done I'm gonna click OK here and we'll just let that install and populate that for us and we can now close this off Okay, now to view our um, list of administrative tools that we've just installed, we can go to right click on the start button here and we'd need to go to control panel. Now once control panels open, you want to make sure you've got view by large icons on the category section here. If you're looking at this, you need to go to view by category and click large icons. You don't have to, but that's the way I have mine set up. And uh, you can also uh, select administrative tools here this will then give you the administrative tools palette and you can see there's loads of uh, tools here available to us and uh, you've got your remote desktop services here and you've also got all your active directory stuff here this some of this stuff will need to be set up as well uh, but we'll probably cover that in in another video if you're interested but pretty much um, uh, you're pretty much good to go here so I'll just quickly show you this it, you, it's not been set up yet but I'll give you an example um, once we open this up and um, we'll click OK here and there you go we've now got Active, direct, active Directory uh, users and computers uh, open here and you can see it's not been set up yet but basically that's how you get all your stuff installed onto the system um, so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button uh, if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any videos requests or any questions or any problems with your computers, you can always head over to the forums. The information is on the screen right now. And also, if you haven't uh, joined my Facebook fan page, you should also go over there and give us a little like up over there. It doesn't cost you anything. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this one up. So thanks again for watching, guys. 
I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.